and you are here with us today check out these awesome awesome updates I'm sorry it's been a while it's been like two weeks since we posted any videos and so much has changed we've just been so busy with installations with moving tanks with bringing fish in and moving things around as you guys can see so we do have a new lineup of tanks here Wally is back and we're so excited to have him so Wally was on tour he came with us to Reef of Palooza and now he's here with us. So come in and check him out. Uh, we also have a couple new displays over here. If you've never seen this before, this is a awesome, awesome, like a clear shovel nose stingray. I've never seen one before, so check that out. Unbelievable. And we also have over here a very well-known blue dot stingray. And that guy is insane to watch eat and swim around, especially with the lights off. So, we will feed them later if you guys are interested. We do have, there's an arrow crab hiding under there in the carpet and enemy tank with the clowns. We have the lionfish over here. There is three different types of lionfish. We have the Volatan, the Volata, and the Fu Manchu. So, those guys are pretty incredible. And then we also have a few uh, bounce mushrooms, rock and enemies, and several other things in there as well. So. Our little, little itty bitty octopus guy over here is doing well. We fed him several emeralds, silver side, and he comes out and destroys them. So there is no emerald too big for these little guys and it was an awesome show. So I'll be posting some of that video later on when we fed him. But as you guys can see, this tank is up and running. I have been wanting to publish a video of this a long time ago and I just haven't had a chance. So this is the sand waterfall tank. We did put a finishing touches to it and as soon as we did that and turned it on, it is sold. So I thought it would be here for a while on display and people would get to see it, but nope, 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 sorry. It's going to a good home and hopefully the next one we make will be even better and that's gonna be the Renaissance Academy's tank. So you guys will get to see us work on that. Um, and that'll be done later this week as well. So we'll be adding to that and I'll keep you guys updated. So we are breaking these tanks down now, clearing out some more space and we'll be setting up some other displays. This is one of them. This is the guppy tank over here. And this, one of the things I absolutely love about this guppy tank is the albino crayfish that's over here. And he's hanging out in the moss ball and he is always doing something interesting. He is just a delight to watch. So look how awesome you can have a tank. For all my saltwater fans out there who have thousands and thousands of dollars in your fish tanks, look what you can do with just a quick, simple setup. So if you guys are into just some beauty and some ambiance, this is one way to go. You know, guppies, great start. Um, and then over here, I mean, look at this. What? Oh my gosh, there's so much. We have, I just saw this, Eric put this together. Uh, we set this tank up. It is the water box. It's their Terra tank. It's got the low front. So you can do all kinds of build outs with these tanks for plants and aquariums. Now there is an albino axolata somewhere hidden in here. And there's also one of those other axolotas, which I can't remember his name. So we will leave him alone for now. I don't know where he is. But here's another tank. These are some swords. Very cool little fish. Very beautiful. There's a mixture of different things in there. And there's our beta over here. He loves our little cylinder tank all by himself. And this is the African cichlid tank. Very cool step down. And for some reason, I guess we don't have our lights on. Power just went off again. So I have to hit this. And this is the one tank I haven't got a chance to yet, but this is our beautiful, beautiful um, bio tank. And Eric's just about to clean it for you guys. But this actually has the mint growing out of here. It's a beautiful little like hydroponic system. And this thing basically has been on its own for the past six months with no one doing nothing. So that's one of the cool tanks. And I think I got the whole update. These displays, I'll have to give you a whole breakdown and tour on them later on. We keep adding corals to the displays and they are starting to finally fill out. And I'll show you that in another video. But 
the SPS tank is coming along very nicely. And this is the Mixed Reef LPS Softy Tank, which is pretty much one of my favorites because everything in here grows so fast and everything looks so amazing as compared to the SPS, which takes much, much more time and patience before it ever looks like an established aquarium. So we got in a beautiful pair of the Blue Throat Triggers, male and female. Um, there's our Niger Purple Tang. There's a couple other things in here that are pretty cool to look at. Uh, we have reef lobsters in both the tanks. These are the Red Sea Peninsulas, and we have some Mabashi equipment underneath as well. So there is an absolutely cool angel in here somewhere hidden. Oh, there she is, or he. Um, that is a copper band butterfly, and we'll see how he does in here. But very cool fish. Everybody should have one if you can. They look gorgeous. And we do have a grouper, some eels, and some other things in the back of the stingrays. But for the most part, we just kind of been leaving them alone. So we have tons of corals for you guys. And this tank over here just got a pruning. The plants had overgrown so much that you pretty much couldn't even look inside anymore. But Eric cleaned it up, and now you can tell that this is a vivarium again. So. Very cool. And this is the Custom Aquariums tank, very nice. Anyone interested, feel free to ask. We'll hook you up with the details. So, the Baba Worm is hanging out in here with the Porcupine Puffer Fish. And those guys are just chilling until we feed them at nighttime. So let's see what else they're up to. They're sending a couple other displays, a couple of the water box tanks, just to kind of show you guys what looks good. And one of my things is I'm trying to set up some tanks to make it look like a gallery. So any options that you have, feel free to leave them in the comments or below. So I think I pretty much covered everything, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Happy reefing. Until next time.